I'm a primary care physician uh, at the General Medicine Clinic at San Francisco General Hospital. And probably the most common chronic disease that I see here is uh, type 2 diabetes, which is an epidemic that's just growing uh, with every decade at, uh, at, at a very rapid pace. And this epidemic is now uh, occurring uh, in people at younger and younger ages, and we're seeing now teenagers uh, having a disease that we used to think of as grandma or grandpa's disease. And so I've become uh, extremely interested in trying to engage uh, young people in trying to tackle this epidemic and to try to bring younger people's voices into the conversation. Well, I was really inspired to start this project by an event that I attended at You Speaks in which a young poet uh, articulated uh, very clearly how uh, her daily stresses, the environmental conditions that she lived in related to poverty, and her poor self-body image led her to, to have very self-destructive eating behaviors uh, that led her to have major problem with obesity despite knowing full well that she was at high risk of having diabetes and that many members of her family uh, had diabetes. It's like Uncle Jimmy having an amputated foot. It's like Brother Christopher having juvenile diabetes at five. It's like, damn. And I think Erica's poem really was the, the spark that ignited uh, the collaboration. I think You Speaks has always been very interested in environmental issues and how uh, the environment shapes uh, young people's experiences. And diabetes was really a poster child, a public health problem, for how the environment shapes young people's experience. So we took it to the next step, which was to bring a number of young people together uh, for whom diabetes was relevant in their lives. One of my dad's good friends um, was affected uh, by diabetes. He actually had his leg amputated. My dad has diabetes. He just found out he had diabetes like three months ago. It was actually really creepy timing because the day I got involved, my grandmother actually had a stroke from diabetes. Like the second before I walked into this workshop, I found that out. The month they actually approached me to facilitate the writing workshop, my uncle had actually died of a heart attack due to diabetes. My grandmother on my mother's side died of diabetes when I was very young. Oh gosh, aunts, grandmothers, um, the list goes on. I have a cousin who's nine. It would be easier for me to name people who don't have it actually. And the first step was really to bring these young people together and to carry out curated workshops. And through that process of, uh, of educating young people about the social determinants of diabetes, the young people started to develop spoken word pieces that really captured many of the drivers of this disease. Yeah, the writing process, it was hard, but um, at the same time, I think that it was good because I was learning way more than I was writing. I think it was very worthwhile. I think the, the basis of the workshop was to spread knowledge, and I feel like that's what we did in the workshop. We, we kind of each put in a piece of what we know about diabetes, and not only that, we had doctors there to tell us, you know, yeah, you're right about this. And then we would transform the facts into poems, and then we would transform those poems into films. The fact that we had a lot more range in terms of what we could say, the fact that the doctors from UCSF were actually here and involved in the process, writing alongside of us in the workshops, was really indicative of like how much they cared. It's also been very humbling because I look at the youth poets and I think they're the ones who have a lot more um, skill and talent and it's just really cool to see the process and how it's worked. The fact that I, I got to use like one of, one of my gifts to inform people, that was really beautiful to me. And it, it took just a few workshops with these young people before they began to generate um, wonderful ideas. If you are what you eat, but you don't know what you're eating, then you don't know what you are. Mammals who have engineered an extra cheese death sentence, snort lines of white donut powder, addicted to what the ranch dip did. But ranch isn't a flavor. A ranch is an area of landscape. And even area of landscape dressing sounds better than buttermilk, sour cream, yogurt, mayonnaise, minced green onion, and garlic powder. You think you're not on a farm right now? Jeeva Dawn Dawn's Ray Sour Patch Kids. Addicted to artificial satisfaction till they pass out like diabetes health and care pamphlets. Wake up with cavities in their mouth, pricking fingers with lancets. One, we want an end to type 2 diabetes in young people. One, we want an end to type 2 diabetes in young people. 
We believe that by causing diabetes, greed blinded corporations and deficient living conditions are directly responsible for blinding, maiming, and killing thousands annually. It definitely will help people. I know it's even helped me, so. I actually have a terrible diet, and this workshop has propelled me to change a lot of aspects of my lifestyle. I had a couple of uncles die of like heart attacks, and um, I never knew it was because of diabetes, so. It makes it real because I'm running. You know, I'm exercising more often than I usually do. We got to really delve into the social um, aspect of diabetes rather than it wasn't like we were sitting in science class learning about this disease, you know. We were really learning about the meat of the actual, like, of the economic problem and why, why it's growing. They became very eloquent spokespeople for these major social forces that are causing this epidemic in ways that I, I as a doctor, just simply couldn't, couldn't do. Um, and I think they did it in ways that could, could resonate with their peers. See, I'm a convenient disease, manipulated by the industry, and I know how to make you want me. Seeing the process of a, of a poem unfold and the positive feedback they give each other and the inspiration that they give each other in their work was really quite eye-opening for me. And I think, you know, the finished products of the public service announcements themselves, they're all extremely powerful pieces that link the environmental conditions that are common in, in California with the diabetes epidemic itself. Uh, each poem had its, its own way of making that, uh, that fact uh, emotionally resonate. When he's lying in a hospital bed, will my glossy eyes be enough for him to wish he could have seen this coming? Will there be enough for him to wish he would have changed? You know, when we come together and when we pressure, we pressure change, um, we really can make a difference.